Welcome to the InsideCarolina.com postgame podcast. We're sponsored by Johnny T-Shirt, JohnnyT-Shirt.com. Carolina falls in Brooklyn in the semifinals. With the postgame podcast, I got my buddy, Dewey Burke here. Dewey, we were talking a little bit off air. We talked a little bit after our show last night, after Carolina played decent to beat Virginia. Carolina did not play decent tonight. No, just brutally struggled offensively, couldn't make shots. And, uh, you know, I thought the refs really let it be overly physical and we didn't respond real well to that. You know, Virginia Tech was bumping every cut, pushing us off, pushing us off screens, jamming lane, jamming cutters. Um, but that being said, you know, we shot three for 26 from three. We shoot eight for 26 or, or seven for 26. This game is completely different. Uh, we just shot the ball horribly. Uh, and you give credit to Virginia Tech for the way they defended, but we just missed a lot of shots that we're capable of making. I mean, you look down and our starting backcourt, uh, you and I talked about this before, five for 27. And then just look at the three-point line, our three best shooters, Brady, RJ, and Caleb, were three for 21. You know, so, I mean, we just shot the ball horribly. Uh, our defense wasn't great, but, I mean, we held them to – 44% shooting. It's not like they went crazy. I know they shot the ball better than us from three. I just, I don't know. This is kind of a weird game. People are going to be disappointed in our effort level. I thought we defended fine in the first half. Uh, I just think we shot the ball terrible. Yeah, uh, you're not going to win against anybody when you shoot, uh, when you're starting back courts, five for 27. And then, like you mentioned, three for 26 as a team. I mean, it's just fascinating how the game of basketball works. Some nights they go in, some nights they don't. Manic just on fire last night. Um, can't buy a decent bucket, especially early, 0 for 5 from 3. Um, you know, this is Virginia Tech's third game in three days. They'll have a fourth one tomorrow night. But Carolina looked a little sluggish out of the gate. Dewey, did you see anything early that caused uh, that gave you some concern other than just couldn't hit shots? No, because like I said, I, I thought we defended fine. What did we give up, 30, 32 points in the first half? I mean, I thought we defended fine. And the stats are interesting in this game. And we had 11 turnovers, which is not a crazy high amount. We out-rebounded them. And we had 14 assists on our 22 baskets, which is a pretty decent ratio. We just couldn't score enough points. I mean, three for 26, I, I can't even remember. Have we ever shot 11% from three? Um you know, we, we shot free throws well, but, uh, you know, again, you make a couple more shots, this game is dramatically different. And I know they they got up by 20, but the main reason they did that is we couldn't score. I mean, they're going to make – they're going to score some. They're going to make some shots, but it's not like they went crazy, 44%. We just, we just couldn't make a shot. And even stuff at the rim, little chippies – rolled around the rim and fell off. It's just, it's just, was one of those nights. And, you know, we've, we've played great for the last month and unfortunately just couldn't find a way to get the ball in the basket today. Yeah. It's uh, Virginia tech and Carolina have been on a very similar track. They highlighted that a couple of times. Carolina of course has played so well since the Miami and uh, Wake Forest games early or in the mid season, Virginia tech has been good except for the Carolina game there. You know, I felt the game, um, you get the halftime down six, which they give up a late three there at the end of the shot clock. But then Virginia Tech comes out hot and starts the second half on that 9-0 run. And then Carolina closes it back down a little bit, and then they go on another run. Um, you know, just they made plays, like you mentioned. And it, it's tough when another team is just making solid plays. And I've always thought Virginia Tech was pretty good. Um, they certainly earned it tonight. I can't really take anything away from them. Carolina missed shots. Carolina did not respond well to the physicality of it. That's the one thing that frustrates me about the officiating. Do we? We've talked about it is the inconsistency amongst crews. Uh, there's some games that are, I bet you there's four, 30 fouls called tomorrow night in, in the championship game. So, but it is what it is. Carolina loses out. They go home a little bit earlier than they planned. So we talked last night about scheduling. And you talked about the breakdown going from game to game in the ACC tournament. What happens now for, for a Carolina team that solidified an NCAA tournament bid last weekend, 
what what does this team do now to get ready for selection Sunday on or selection show on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, obviously they'll be off tomorrow, and it, it actually goes quicker than you might think. You know, especially if you get a Thursday Saturday draw, they're going to travel on Tuesday, and uh, so they'll get home super late tonight. Um, have a day off tomorrow, practice Sunday, and then probably go to Coach Davis's house for selection Sunday, and then you know one more practice, and you're you're back on the road. So it, it goes it goes pretty quick. We'll be traveling somewhere, and. Uh, you know, as you start thinking about seating and where you'd like to be or not like to be, you know, I think it's easy to say you hope you hope you're not an eight or a nine seed. You'd love to avoid those one seeds in the second round if you're fortunate enough to get there. Um, so I don't know if that means that we're worthy of a seven or maybe we're a ten after how we played tonight. I'm not sure, but um, you know, it would have been fun to go play Duke again tomorrow. Uh, I think Virginia Tech will give them a good game. But I'm also, you know, kind of okay that Shashevsky doesn't get the chance to <laughs> redeem himself against us. And, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 chance that uh, he will forever have lost his last game against Carolina, assuming that we don't play them uh, in the NCAA tournament. So I know everybody's frustrated, but uh, we still have that. And uh, season's not over. Uh, we just, just couldn't make shots. That's, that's my conclusion. You know, I think. They probably played a little, a little more, a little more want to than us, but we just didn't shoot the ball well. Yeah, and that's what's Roy always said. It looks better when it goes in the basket. It just didn't for Carolina. Uh, you know, a lot of things in this game were what we've seen over the course of the season, but there's been a lot of good in the last month as well. Um, let's talk a little bit about the finality of this coming down. So now, the ACC tournament's over for this bunch. Uh, now you're one game away. You're 40 minutes away of being done with your season. And, uh, you know, we know senior night, who they honored. Um, Leakey, of course, has an option to come back. But but what's the finality now that the ACC tournament's over and you're looking ahead at the NCAA tournament? What are these players thinking about in that regard? Or yeah, are that they? You, yeah, they should be. I mean, that you can't have a, a game or certainly a half like you had in the second half of this game, but, you know, we didn't play great against Virginia either, you know, so these two games were, were not our best. And I think there's plenty of teaching points for the staff to, to go over. They've got time to watch some film, um, but you, you just, you don't have the ability to, I mean, forget about a half. You don't have the ability to have a, you know, a four minute stretch in between TV timeouts where you take possessions off because once you get to the tournament, everybody's good. Everybody's fighting for their life. Everybody's hoping to have their Cinderella moment. So um, whatever they had and, and brought with them into Cameron a week ago, they need to uh, harness that again and try to put it together to make, make a run and, and see if we can do something interesting. Because if not, uh, it's, a very, um, it's a very hard feeling when you sit in that locker room when it's over because you can't believe it it's it's the most shocking feeling you can ever have as a college athlete when you you sit there and you look up at your coach and he doesn't know what to say to you because it's over um so uh they need to they need to bottle that in, enthusiasm and intensity and and passion that they had at cameron and bring it into the tournament because it's now or never indeed it is of course brady manic um staring at that front and center going into selection Sunday and you know I, I believe uh, I believe there'll be an eight or nine I'd say they're probably going to be a nine um, just out of curiosity looking ahead and and sort of guessing at it which one seed from what you know um, would Carolina have the best shot at yeah I, it's interesting I don't know about um, any of them to be honest with you yeah I don't know you want any of them I mean <laughs> It looks like Auburn probably just had their bad off night, right? So they're gonna they're gonna come in playing pretty well. Uh, Gonzaga's got unbelievable talent and size and depth. Um, you know, hey, maybe maybe we can get Kansas and and win one for Coach Williams, right? Because Coach Self got us a couple times once uh, once once RW came to to be our coach. So I'll say Kansas. I'd love to find a way to to win the first round game and then go upset Kansas. That'd be great. 
that was certainly meant for a fun first weekend in the NCAA tournament. Dewey, we're done for now. We'll talk again soon. Um, I do appreciate you taking time to join me on these. We've done a lot of them over the course of years. They're always fun, win or lose. I always learn a little bit. There's just not a whole lot to talk about tonight, so we're going to keep it short. You don't shoot well. You don't win in the ACC tournament, do we? Always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks, Tommy. Yep, indeed. Everybody listening, sponsored by Johnny T-Shirt. Rate us, review us, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll be with Joey Powell in the morning inside Carolina Live on WCHL 97.9 The Hill. Join us there. We'll talk more. Thanks.